As my children have grown up and I've taught them the value of cinema, of going to experience a movie for the first time, and how important it is to not ruin it for others, I look at these kids fondly because they listen to what I said. They don't ruin films for others. They don't spoil a big reveal in a movie they just saw, knowing that not everyone gets out to the theater the first week, or two weeks, or even the first year. So it's important to tread lightly, to not ruin or take away an experience for someone else. So I guess it's just astounding to me that there are full-grown adults online that think it's cool or edgy or gives them some clout to be the first one to rush out to Twitter or onto YouTube or wherever in the comments and say, so-and-so is in this movie, this happened in this film, look at me, love me, worship me. And I guess what troubles me even more is it works for them. They gain followers, they gain subscribers, they gain an audience off of being an obnoxious prick. Let's talk about spoiling films. There is nothing I love more than a big reveal in a movie, a twist that comes in the third act, something that gets you talking thinking, pondering over it for days or weeks or whatever to come. I think about awesome films like Fight Club with the twist, or Seven, or even The Matrix, just the concept behind it and how they revealed what it all was halfway through the movie. Or you look at movies recently such as Deadpool and Wolverine where there was all those fun cameos. And I'm so thankful to myself that I have purged and removed most social media from my life. I don't spend a ton of time online. I, I post my videos on YouTube. Occasionally I'll chat with some people there, but for the most part, I have a very small presence when it comes to these things and I spend even less time seeing what other people have to say because there's so much shit out there. There are so many people trying to clamor for your attention and the easiest way to do this is to be first to market when it comes to ruining big surprises. And of course there's going to be pushback, there's going to be a whole bunch of people upset but there will always be a good chunk that think you're cool for posting that. Or they think, oh, this person really knows their stuff. They, ha they have the inside scoop. And so they follow someone like that. Understanding that's the game for these people is one thing, but the more pathetic, sad thing is seeing big companies doing this. Websites, publishers posting spoilers for Deadpool and Wolverine, for instance, when the movie hasn't even been out for a couple days. They go on their social media platforms and they start throwing out the people that are in the movie. Are you kidding me? What's more sad about it is, for instance, Deadpool and Wolverine was sold out in a lot of theaters, so many people, big fans, couldn't even get a ticket yet. And then they just scroll through their online socials only to have some prick ruin it all with one foul swoop. Now, it's inevitable because this is the internet after all. There's going to be a comment somewhere that says, Adam, this is like not a big thing in the grand scheme of things. Of course it's not. This is a movie channel, okay? I'm talking movies. It's light. It's loose. I'm passionate about it. But at the end of the day, yes. We're talking about spoilers in film. It's not going to kill you. But this is my religion, folks. This is what I do. I do movies. And if you like this commentary and this content, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share, do whatever you feel inclined to do. Let's keep going. So we established the grifters. They want to make a name for themselves. They want to spoil things early so they look like they're important. Fine, that, that's their thing. We established that there's websites, publishers, other outlets that also are doing the same thing to get their name out there because even bad press is good press to them. Oh, there's engagement is up. People are swearing at us and tell, calling us jerks for ruining it. But along the way, there's going to be some people that think, oh, I should subscribe to Entertainment Weekly or whatever the hell it is, for instance. They look at that as a calculated risk they're willing to take. And I'm sure it works out in the long run which is depressing. But the studios do it themselves, which is ridiculous. You get some good examples like Spider-Man No Way Home, where they kept it a secret that the other Spider-Man were gonna be in this film. 
But then you see what they did with Deadpool and Wolverine. They showed a prominent cameo in the final trailer of the movie, which I saw and I was pissed off about. That was one of the few emotional moments of the picture that was kind of stolen from me because I knew it was coming. And you'll notice I didn't actually say what it was because I respect my viewers. I respect people I've never met before because I like movies and I want them to have that good experience themselves without stripping part of it away. But the people cutting the trailers, the people making the decisions don't give a shit. They just want to get more bodies in the seats. So they take a step back and they say, all right, what can we do here? What can we get to drive more people to this film? Let's give one of the cameos away. Let's hit one of the big reveals so that they know what they're in for. And what's more annoying and frustrating about examples like that is... The movie itself is proud of the reveals. It's proud of these things that it's kept secret. So it rolls the carpet out and slowly has people step out of the shadows so the audience can go, wow, I remember that person. Wow, they're in this too? That's amazing. And they get all excited and giddy. It's a little less exciting when you know it's going to happen. So then you're just sitting here going, okay, well, I already know who's coming out. So I maybe get a refill on my drink while I wait for this to play out. It's pretty pathetic. Not as pathetic as the actors who leak these things out. <laughs> Why? So you are an actor who's secretly been working on a big film for a year, two years, however long it's been. You keep your mouth shut all the way up to the premiere date and then you just say, fuck it. It's out there. Now I can just let the people know I'm in it. Why? Like You did so well. Keep it secret for another at least two weeks. Uh, give me a week. But I saw a lot of celebrities were already spoiling the fact that they were in the film or they knew who was in the film or their friend was in the movie and they wanted to give a shout out. How dense are these people? How self-absorbed are they that they can't think of others for even a second that they feel the need to put a slideshow out of the person in the film and on the beach with them and wherever else? It's just frustrating. I felt like they tried at one point to punish people for early spoilers. The studio would get involved or even the social media site would pull the spoilers down or flag them somehow. Maybe I made that up. I'm not sure, but it would be nice if there was some sort of roadblocks along the way. If I see spoilers in comments of my video even, I rip them out. I pull them right away because I don't want people to jump into the comments and see that and have it ruined. I guess my advice is one that I've been giving myself for the last few years, which is to just calm down on the social media uh, or, or just follow those that you trust. But even then it's hard because there's related videos and, and sometimes these jerks put the freaking spoilers right in the thumbnail of the video itself. There's just no escape. Curate your timeline, curate your playlist, and make sure you are not following people that are going to cause trouble like that down the road. I can promise you I won't, but uh, you know, we're, we're starting to be a dying breed, I feel like, even on YouTube. Nothing seems sacred anymore. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about spoilers? You, you love them? You just, you hunt them down? Do you not care about movies anymore, so it's fine for you? Maybe think about others though and, uh, and how they still enjoy going to movies and how they don't want things ruined and step back. This is me giving you like a fatherly scolding if you're one of the people posting spoilers within a day of its release. Uh, I'm giving you a stern, a stern warning, mister. Again, if you like the commentary, I would love if you subscribed and hung out with me. I would appreciate it. Like the video. You can join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies if you really like my content. There's even more of it there exclusively. I have a second channel, Adam Does Rants where I post weekly rants about the dumbest stuff imaginable. Uh, just first world problems at their finest, kind of like this. Would love to have you stick around there as well. Hopefully, I see you at one of these places next time. Take care.